So Cheryl is asking, who was it that rested in the shade of a large plant that the Lord caused to grow to shade him? So this is one of those that could be answered really quickly, and it, I'll, I'll give a fairly quick answer. And in short, the answer is Jonah. So the, the background on this is starting at Jonah chapter 4, verse 5, talks about how right after Jonah went and preached to Nineveh, that you guys are all going to die in 40 days, God's going to destroy you. Um, he went out of the city and he sat on the east side, which is interesting because when Adam and Eve left the Garden of Eden, they went out of the east gate. So here now Jonah goes out, he's sitting on the east side of the city, and he's watching what comes of it. He's sitting there and it's getting hot. The sun's beating down on him. And it says in verse four, and God, the Lord God prepared a plant and made it come up over Jonah that it might be shade for his head to deliver him from his misery. So Jonah was very grateful for the plant. But as morning dawned, the next day, does a verse seven, says God prepared a worm and it so damaged the plant that it withered. And, and then Jonah goes on to get really angry. You say, actually says it. Um, he's angry and God says to Jonah, hey, why, why are you so angry? It's just a plant. Just a plant died. Why are you so upset about that? And he says, it is right for me to be angry even to death. Um, and then God came back to him and says, look, you've had pity on this plant, a plant that doesn't feel, doesn't think, you know, doesn't have any personality, no dreams or aspirations. You have pity on that plant. And, and it says, for which you have not even labored, nor made it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should I not pity Nineveh? That great city in which are more than 120, sorry, 120,000 people who cannot discern between the right hand and the left and much livestock. So here God's saying, yeah, you're, you on the one hand, Jonah, is really upset over the death of a plant. But I'm trying to help 120,000 people who have no clue what's going on. Like we, we, we've been talking about, right? How so many people just don't have a clue about the personality of God. They don't have a clue about the forces of evil that are working behind the scenes to just bring pain and suffering to the world and how God is trying so hard to free us from sin, to free us from the captivity uh, under the tyranny of Satan. We have no idea. So many people are clueless. And then the livestock. So God's saying, I even care about the animals because they also have feelings and they think and, and well, not like on our level, but you know, they're, they feel pain. They know when bad things are happening and, and, it's tough on them as well. So God said, like, come on, Jonah, can't you care more about these things and be grateful for all the life that's going to be saved? Now, what's really interesting too, though, there's even a deeper meaning if we dive into it. So why plant? Uh, if you look at that, this idea of a plant and then a, a worm attacking it and it dying, it, it also sort of has this additional meaning of the Messiah that would one day come and die for the sins of the world. See in Isaiah 11, 1, it says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and the branch shall grow out of his roots. Uh, so people knew, like, out of the, the, the stem out of Jesse is sort of referring to, that's David, King David's dad. And talking about how out of David's lineage, there will come the Messiah. And sure enough, we come to Jesus, and Jesus says in John 15, 5, he says, I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So again, Jesus compares himself to a plant. And indeed, that plant died for the world and became, uh, well, and then Jesus resurrected. And now Jesus is, in a sense, the tree of life for all of us. Under his shade, we then can dwell and find peace and life and dwell forever. So Hope that's helpful to you. Thank you very much for asking that question.